All right, welcome back to the Tech Corner. I'm George Silla, Senior Markets Contributor here with the Schwab Network. Today, we're actually going to be evaluating Big Blue, International Business Machines. This is a legacy technology company founded in 1911. It operates through three main segments. It's software, consulting, and infrastructure divisions. In software, the company offers hybrid cloud and AI platforms that aid clients in digital and AI transformations across various applications and environments. IBM's consulting segment integrates strategy, experience, technology, and operations operating solutions tailored by domain and industry. The infrastructure segment provides both on-premise and cloud-based server and storage solutions. Out of all three of those divisions, software constitutes about 65% of sales, with consulting and infrastructure solutions compromising about 18 and 17% respectively. Now, when it comes to competition in the software segment, competitors include companies like Microsoft, Amazon, and Oracle. These companies offer similar cloud and AI solutions, challenging IBM's market position. In the consulting segment, IBM competes with Accenture, which is prominent in consulting and system integration services. Well, now, when it comes down to IBM's unique value proposition, this lies in its comprehensive hybrid cloud and AI platforms. This enables clients to achieve digital transformations tailored to their specific environments. Now, even though IBM competes with companies like Oracle, Amazon Web Services, and Microsoft in its software services division, it actually makes up for this in growing ecosystem partnerships with these businesses in consulting. These companies comprise about 40% of their consulting revenue. Now, the other unique value is its focus on integrating quantum computing with classical systems, along with its robust research and development investments. This positions itself as a leader in emerging technologies. Now, in recent news, going back to late January, the company posted Q4 results, which were highlighted by strong outperformance in three major areas. First off, generative AI bookings, its subsidiary in software, Red Hat, as well as its free cash flow guidance. Now, its AI-related bookings grew $2 billion sequentially to $5 billion quarter over quarter. Software actually grew about 11% year over year. This was primarily due to Red Hat irrespective of the fact that total revenue for the business itself grew about 2% year over year. Now, in terms of cash flow, the company in Q4 generated $12.7 billion and actually guided higher by about 6.3% for Q1 2025 at around $13.5 billion. Now, there are many positive attributes to IBM. Its leadership in quantum computing with over $1 billion in quantum-related sales over the last year positions itself as a leader in its field offering potentially significant revenue growth. The company's strategic pivot towards artificial intelligence and hybrid cloud has enhanced its business performance, leading to impressive Q4 earnings and, again, that $12.7 billion in free cash flow growth. AI and software solutions such as Red Hat and automation segments is driving future segment revenue growth with expectations of about 10% in 2025. Net income margin is also about 9.6%. This is significantly higher than the sector median around 4%. Now, in light of those positives, there are also some concerns we need to address. Cloud growth lags behind competition from competitors like Microsoft due to its focus on tailored hybrid solutions rather than scalable public cloud platforms, which can affect its overall growth potential. Despite numerous acquisitions in the past, the company itself demonstrates limited organic growth. This is exemplified by generous dividend payouts as well as share buybacks. For instance, in the trailing four quarters, EPS growth actually declined by about 21% compared to the sector average of an increase of around 9%. This highlights a downtrend in earnings growth. does also lag its sector peers by about 4%. This also indicates slower expansion organically. The other thing to keep in mind is tight IT spending budgets by enterprise companies may actually drag on near-term results. Now, irrespective of the current market environment, which is certainly challenging, IBM's momentum remains robust with a one-year price performance increase of around 21%, starkly outperforming the S&P 500 technology sector, which is down 8% over the last year. Year Year-to-date, the stock is higher by 2%. This is besting also the broad S&P 500, which has demonstrated a decline of approximately 13%. This still indicates bullish sentiment in IBM and strong investor confidence. Now, from an indicator standpoint, as well as moving averages, the stock is trading below its 50-day moving average, which suggests the intermediate trend is challenged. However, it's still trading above its 200-day moving average, which you can't say for the S&P 500 is the same, which indicates for IBM the long-term trend remains intact. Now, when looking at the one-year relative strength indicator, right now the position on that indicator is below 30, suggesting the stock may be oversold in the near term. 
Now, in summary, let's remember IBM remains one of the dominant providers of mainframes and has built out its consulting and software business focused on digital transformation projects and hybrid cloud infrastructure growth. With growing artificial intelligence, IBM continues to evolve, focusing on the integration of advanced technologies and deep consulting expertise, aiming to deliver comprehensive business transformations to come. Now, in the next edition of the Tech Corner, we're going to be highlighting Alphabet, parent company of Google, one of the large cap Magnificent 7 stocks. Now, thanks again for watching this week's Tech Corner. I'm George Tillis. Please like and subscribe to the Schwab Network. We'll see you next week.